Friends, today in this video I will discuss a very simple problem in mathematics that is still unsolved. Many mathematicians have tried to solve it but all failed. Do you know that if you can solve this problem, you will win a prize money of 1 million dollars. Although the problem looks so simple that even a little kid can understand it. But solving it is not child's play. Zephyr Lagarius stated in 2010 that the Collard's conjecture is an extraordinarily difficult problem, completely out of reach of present-day mathematics. This problem is famously known as Collard's conjecture or 3n plus 1 problem. This problem was introduced by Lothar Collaz in 1937. Collaz conjecture is also known by other names like 3n plus 1 conjecture, Ulam conjecture, Kakutani's problem, Thwaites conjecture, Syracuse problem or Hesse's algorithm. So without wasting time, let's come to the problem. Who knows, you might win 1 million dollars? First, we will see the statement of Collaz conjecture. Then we will understand it with the help of some examples. The problem is simple. Take any positive integer. If this number is even, then divide it by 2. But if the number is odd, then multiply the number by 3 and add 1 to get the next number. Now repeat this process to get the sequence of numbers. As the numbers in the sequence go up and down frequently, the sequence of numbers is also called as Hailstone sequence or Hailstone numbers. Now, according to the Collard's conjecture, regardless of which positive integer is chosen initially, this sequence will eventually reach the number 1. No one knows why this miraculous thing happens. Why all the positive integers end up at 1 by following this process? We can also represent the problem in simple mathematical terms by defining a function. Function fn is equals to n by 2 if n is even and is equals to 3n plus 1 if n is odd. Here n is a positive integer. Let's understand it with the help of some examples to make it more clear. We can take any positive integer, small or very big. But it's better to take a small number to explain you the concept. You can try it with larger numbers of your choice. Let's start by taking a small positive integer 7. 7 is an odd number. So to get the next number, as per the rule, we multiply it by 3 and add 1. Hence we get 22. Now see, 22 is an even number, therefore next number will be obtained by dividing it by 2. We get number 11. 11 is an odd number, so multiply it by 3 and add 1. This time we get 34 as the next number in the sequence. Now all we need to do is just repeat the same process as per the rule. At last stage you will find that you reach to number 1. But you don't want to stop at 1, so you again apply the rule. As 1 is an odd number, you multiply it by 3 and add 1. You get 4. Since 4 is even, you divide it by 2 and get 2. Again, 2 is even, so you divide it by 2 and get 1 once again. Did you observe something weird? You are stuck in an endless loop of numbers 4, 2 and 1. This is what the Collard's conjecture states. All positive integers end up at 1 by following this rule. If this example is not enough to make you feel satisfied, then I have few more examples for you. This time, let's try with a little bigger number, of course, a positive integer. Let's take number 12. We will repeat the same process with number 12 to get a sequence of numbers. Since 12 is even, we divide it by 2 and get number 6. It's again an even number, so divide it by 2 once again. We get 3, which is an odd number. Now multiply it by 3 and add 1 to it. You see, we get number 10. Now repeat the same process until you reach 1. On applying the rule again on 1, you will see you are stuck in an endless loop of 4, 2 and 1 again. You can observe the same thing with another example of number 19. This sequence of numbers also ends at 1. 
and forms a loop of numbers 4, 2 and 1. Amazing! Do you know why does it happen? Actually, no one knows. It's actually a mystery of mathematics. Why all positive integers are having same type of end of the sequence? What's forcing them to do so? As of 2020, Collard's conjecture has been checked by computer for all starting values up to 2 raised to the power 68. As a result, it has been found that all these values eventually end in a repeating cycle of 4 to 1. Although the Collard's conjecture has been tested for all the values up to such a large number, but it doesn't mean that the conjecture is proved. We still have a long way to go before we can say that Collard's conjecture has been proved by testing even larger numbers. If we could find even a single positive integer that gives rise to a sequence that does not include 1 or increases without bounds, then the Collard's conjecture will be disproved. But no such number has been found till date. So researchers believe that the conjecture is true based on experimental evidences and heuristic arguments. So guys, now you are familiar with the simplest unsolved problem in mathematics. Do you accept the open challenge to solve it to get a million dollars award? Good luck! Friends, if you enjoyed the video and found it interesting and useful, then please like and share it. And for more such videos, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Engineering Made Easy. Thank you for watching the video till the end. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.